third of students at the Royal Danish Academy of Music come from abroad, and their first impressions of Denmark are provided by the city of Copenhagen. We Danes tend to think of the city as a huge metropolis, while some foreigners expect it to be a fairy tale place, and others again see it as just something different from home. One of the things that I like the most is that I can have my life in a bicycle, which I never experienced before. To do anything, to go to school, to go shopping, to go out, to go teach, whatever, and you can just move. In Denmark, it's a very safe life, and uh, you can get everything, and everything is quite perfect. As a Spanish, it's first, it's very friendly. It's a very easy going place because uh, I mean, it's quite quiet. You don't have problems of transportation. This is very clean and very. Quiet. Wow, this is so nice, so quiet. I can practice here. <laughs> a guided tour of the academy is necessary to get to know all the new high standard facilities. The first and second stories of the academy are occupied by rehearsal rooms. There is naturally the large concert hall, but there's also another smaller hall known as the studio hall. Both halls boast modern and well-equipped recording facilities, where the recording direction students can work on projects together with musicians. The canteen is popular with everyone, and even in autumn, its outdoor terrace is often busy. The department for consort music bring in their original instruments. Organists have several instruments in the building, whilst percussionists have made their own den. And students naturally enjoy going round the corner to the nearest bar to wish each other scones, <laughs> which means cheers. The atmosphere is really, really nice in between all the, the students who really get on very well and it's very friendly and it's not competitive at all. But it's wonderful for to be relaxed in your career in your studies and be and, and not to have any competition with the students who really support each other and you find a lot of friends. Most of Danish people speak English. That's, a, that's actually a good part. Like if you come to Denmark you and you're a foreigner, it's you will know that like, everybody speaks English like fluently and understands everything because you know Partnerships have been established with many other institutions, including the Opera House. Here, the Academy Orchestra cooperates with the opera and a foreign conductor. The Royal Danish Academy of Music also aims to invite the cultural life of Copenhagen inside its own walls. The Danish National Symphony Orchestra, for example, performs in the Academy's concert hall. I think it's an, an added value to studying here at the Academy that right now we're sharing the hall with the Radio Symphony because it's so easy to just come down from the Academy and be able to, to be here for this. So it's really, really a, a plus for, for my studies here as a student here in Deco Diem. The Academy also has its own symphonic orchestra, which plays in several big events during a student year. Here, a smaller part of the orchestra is in cooperation with the conductor's the class. So the same tempo, just strict tempo. I. You need a little impulse in the vibrato on, on those ones always. The unique environment of the Royal Danish Academy of Music encourages its professors and other international teachers to put their hearts and souls into the institution. The Academy also offers a broad range of master classes. Students and teachers can work with persons from outside the academy and still be inspired by the academy and allow it to influence their projects. Yeah, he'd say that. So then... Many things grow and blossom here, and one day you may be among them. <laughs>